Aliyat Shevi'i, uh, yesterday we ended off discussing the Nachash Nechoshet, but the Aliyah ended with the beautiful scene that Bnei Israel traveled and came to an actual Be'er of Mayim. They drank from the Be'er and they actually sang a praise to the Be'er. We continue to this Aliyah today, Aliyat Shevi'i, and ends the parasha, where they now come to the next land of our enemies, the Emori. And the first king being Sichon, the next king being Og. And as they approach Sichon, they do what they did beforehand. And they ask permission, can we please go through your land? And they're willing to pay and walk as they're being told to. And Sichon doesn't even bother answering. He comes out with his sword and begin to fight Bnei Israel. Moshe is told by God, don't be scared. Don't be fearful, go out and fight. And indeed Bnei Israel fight and they beat Sichon. And as they beat Sichon, they conquer many of their cities to which Hashem tells them these cities will not belong to you and also the spoils in the city. And as we are about to finish off these wars comes Og, another king of Emori, and attack us, the famous Og we've heard about. And of course we fight Og and destroy Og. This land now becomes annexed as part of Israel. It is this land that two and a half tribes will ask Moshe in a few months from now, listen Moshe, we're not all going to fit in Yerushalayim in Israel, it's a small place, why don't we let us have this two and a half, two and a, why don't we let us have this city for the two and a half tribes that we are here, which will be a discussion for later on. But what I want to point out from this is when we cross through Emori, we ask permission to go through, no intention of conquering. But when we were attacked preemptively and they attacked us and we defended ourselves, then until today, according to international law, if the aggressor attacks you first and you defend yourself and you can beat and you beat them, you can keep their land. So legally, we were allowed to keep the land of the Emori of Sichon and Og, and that's what we will one day get back again. But to point out, the parasha tells us clearly, the land that we ask to go through, and they say no, no problem. The people attack us first, then it's free game.